a baby to you. Me too. Have a good day. Oh, You run. Bunny. Bunny run with you? Yeah. Okay. Say bye to Bunny. You want to wave to Bunny? Are you teasing? Oh, Bunny just honked. She honked the horn. Bye, Bunny. Oh my goodness, it feels like it's been a very, very long time, but maybe it really hasn't. A few months since I put something out there. Life is full as always. Brooks, come here. Oh. Is it your nap time? Ready? Here we go. Five little turkeys dancing on the floor. We've been working on a bathroom project here. I've been working a couple days a week at a gift shop at the school my mom works at. I've been just trying to maintain peace in our house. We've had some sicknesses lately, so that's been a little challenging. It's always hard to be sick and already feeling like you're a little bit adjusting to your working a couple days a week. And um, yeah, it's a definitely a different rhythm to last year, but Brooks was a good bit younger, so obviously it would have been a lot harder to work um, and make sure he had his needs met. I've been working on a birthday crown for Honor, which never made them before, but I practiced and I made one, which isn't this one, but I am currently working on this little thing, which I think looks pretty good. Basically a little person sitting in the moon. For a second while I was doing this, I wanted to chat about some goals, because I beginning of September, the end of August, I made some goals for myself. And one of them was to do the, the shower challenge again, which I did do, I did complete. And I've 
continued to turn my showers kind of cold at the end, but um, not in the amount that I was, obviously, when I did my last video. But one of my other main challenge that I wanted to give myself for that month was to read the Bible every day. And a little backstory there is that um, I was confirmed. I did go to Sunday school. Um, and I know all the Old Testament stories because being a Waldorf graduate in third grade, we heard all the Bible stories. And then also homeschooling honor almost all of third grade, also in a, using a Waldorf curriculum. I had to then teach the Bible, um, Old Testament stories to my daughter, Honor. So I definitely knew those stories well, but when I thought about, you know, when I hear people talking about the Bible or Bible stories, I feel like it's often from the New Testament and the passages that are quoted, at least that I'm familiar with, feel like they're more in the New Testament than Old Testament. Um, you can comment below. I'm, I'm not a newbie when it comes to understanding the Bible or Christianity, so to speak, but I am a little bit, I feel like there's missing pieces to my religious upbringing that I kind of want to bring full circle as um, I've gotten the opportunity to obviously steward and raise honor. Um, and we, you know, had Allie, who we lost, but also obviously we have Brooks, and he's one and a half, and I just feel like there's certain maybe traditions or ways of raising your family that I might want to implement that I feel like I might get guidance from the Bible in. I started listening to the New Testament, so I'm about three hours of eight hours in. And that's a nice in-between for the moment. But I did get this Bible, which one of my nephews drew on, which was really sad. And then I was like, you know what? Stop being so attached to how something looks. I may put something over it eventually, but it's the Encouraged Devotional Bible. Um, and yeah, I'm basically just working through the New Testament. And then whenever I hear something that I want to look up through my audio recording, I'll look it up. This is a really great guidebook as to how um, to live your life, the, the morals to live by, what, what is right, what is wrong. I mean, without some feeling of, besides personal feeling, perhaps you have a personal, um, like, you know, it's wrong to do this to your neighbor, but having guides in your life, whatever they may be. Um, they could be people or books or your religion, but I feel like it's it's something that we're really missing in society. anyone else find lighting candles makes your space feel magical? I definitely find when I light a candle it makes my house feel more magical. Also, quick update on my sauerkraut, which I posted on Instagram about making. I made it and here, let me open it up. Boom. You have to burp it every day, but it is, whoa. Okay, hold on. Check it out, guys. Boom. I did taste it already this morning, and it's, uh, it's getting there. So I am making a red lentil curry. Brooks woke up for a minute, 
often he will wake up halfway through his nap and if I don't give him a little bit of milk then I lose him. I don't lose him. He just stops napping. So he's up. Anyway, I was talking about food. Brooks and I are vegan, Honor's vegetarian, and the rest of my household, Sam, is, uh, he eats everything. So kind of the compromise is that the main part of the meal is typically vegan. And then dairy is often an extra if uh, people want it. Um, and then, yeah, I go grocery shopping maybe once or probably once a week, maybe every week and a half. I'll go Aldi or Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is more of like a bulk buy every few weeks. Um, maybe once a month I get up there. We're, I have a chest freezer. It's down at my parents and we're finally going to be moving it at, up to our place here. And um, that'll be great because we like a few certain things from Trader Joe's, like their spring rolls, my husband loves, and the dumplings, our family all like those. Do we love the masala burgers, um, sometimes they're french fries we get. But yeah, anyway, we stock up from there, I go to Aldi, I get a couple specific things I like there, their tomato sauce, um, their pizza crusts for sometimes weak weekdays with school um, is when I tend to maybe use those on the days that I'm working also out of the house. I really try to buy local produce and then some of the extra things I don't, you know, like pizza crusts and stuff. It's just hard to get um, local when it comes to those kinds of things. So as long as my lettuce and my onions and my broccoli and zucchini, those kinds of things are all local, then I feel pretty good about um, what my family's all eating. Here's my recipe. I essentially added a whole bunch of veggies though. Is, uh, I'm turning it into a veggie red lentil curry instead of just red lentil curry with onion, garlic, and what is it? What is even it? Tomatoes, right? Yeah. So anyway, I put a whole bunch of little bits of veggies in here. These are all local, which is so cool. I've got onions, garlic, carrots, zucchini, and a little bit of Napa cabbage. I'm sauteing that in oil. I also have some um, ginger. So I have green lentils, and I think these are mung beans but I've cooked with them before and they perform a little bit like red lentils, so I don't know red lentils. It's not even going to be a red lentil curry. Let's simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Do you guys celebrate Christmas. If you do, this is an advent calendar. I already have mine up. There's nothing behind it. It's or There's no gifts behind it besides a beautiful picture, but this one is so cute. And we sell them at the gift shop I work at, but I mean... Just... Hi. Hi. Can we airplane? Sure. Do you want to drive or mommy? Yeah. Mommy drive? A deer. A deer? Let's try it. Does it look like a deer? What? There, you try. Your turn. Another one? A baby deer? Baby deer. Yay. Can you vacuum for mommy? You want the other booby? Your sister Allie in heaven did too. Oh. Allie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Allie's your big baby sister. Yeah. You have two sisters. Mommy. 
Brooks and Mommy. Mommy. Brooks and Mommy. Mommy Brooks, Mommy. Mommy Brooks, Brooks and Mommy. Mommy, Mommy. I know. I love that. I think it's done. Look, look what mommy made while you were napping. You see it? It's a nice curry. Mm. You want to eat some of it? Mm, look at it. You want to sit right there? Papa. Mommy sit right there too? Now let's play baseball, Brooks. Let's play baseball. Okay. Use two hands, Brooks. Boom! Alright, you ready? One, two, Whoa, let's go get it. Come on. Whoa, what a hit. Hi. Whoa. Hi. On the school. That's right. We're going to get honor from. Oh, we messed it up. See if she can do it. Sometimes you can tip the bowl in the bowl. Okay. Kinda late, but I'm working on Honor's crown for her birthday. I know the video quality is so bad, but I'm on my phone and I just didn't really feel like changing it, but I had such a wonderful day today and it's great to have a reboot day for myself, which I haven't really had in I feel like a long time just because I've been Real sick and then we've had company on and off and a lot of family events so anyway I'm gonna finish this and put the laundry in the dryer and pack my things set out clothes for tomorrow and hopefully get some sleep because I'm out early tomorrow around 7 so anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any video recommendations, you can put them below and I'll see you soon.